Question number one, which of the following is true regarding the endocrine system? A, the endocrine system secretes hormones directly into the bloodstream. B, the endocrine system maintains homeostasis in the body using negative feedback. C, only cells with specific receptors are affected by the effects of the hormones. Or D, all of the above. Our answer here is D, all of the above. And if you need some extra help understanding this question and answer, you can always refer to my complete review of the endocrine system video. Question number two, where does the pituitary gland get the message to secrete hormones? A, the anterior pituitary, B, the pineal gland, C, the hypothalamus, or D, the brain? Our answer here is C, the hypothalamus. Question number three, which of the following does the hypothalamus not release? A, thyrotropin releasing hormone, B, corticotropin releasing hormone, C, gonadotropin releasing hormone, or D, thyroid releasing hormone? Our answer here is D, thyroid releasing hormone. All other hormones mentioned here are released by the hypothalamus. Question number four, which gland secretes hormones responsible for metabolism, growth, and decreasing calcium in the blood? A, the pineal gland, B, the thyroid gland, C, the thymus gland, or D, the pituitary gland? Our answer here is B, the thyroid gland. Question number five, which of the following hormones are responsible for the release of ACTH? And we know that ACTH stands for adrenocorticotropic hormone. A, thyrotropin releasing hormone. B, growth hormone releasing hormone. C, corticotropic releasing hormone. Or D, growth hormone releasing hormone. Our answer here is C, corticotropin releasing hormone. Question number six, which of the following hormones does the adrenal cortex release? A, cortisol, B, norepinephrine, C, epinephrine, or D, ADH. And we know ADH stands for antidiuretic hormone, also known as vasopressin. Our answer here is A, cortisol. Question number seven, which of the following hormones will increase blood volume and result in higher blood pressure? A, leptin, B, aldosterone, C, atrial natriuretic peptides, or D, thymosin? Our answer here is B, aldosterone. Question number eight, which of the following is the site where growth hormone is released? A, hypothyroid, B, pineal gland, C, anterior pituitary, or D, posterior pituitary? Our answer here is C, anterior pituitary. Question number nine, which of the following is true of the gonadotropin hormone that is released by the anterior pituitary gland? A, includes the follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone, both stimulate the testes in men and the ovaries in women. 
B includes both FSH and LH, which cause uterine contractions and milk production in women. C, gonadotropin hormone stimulates development of secondary sex characteristics. Or D, gonadotropin hormone targets the thyroid gland to secrete T3, T4, and calcitonin. Our answer here is A, it includes the follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone, which both stimulate the testes in men and the ovaries in women. Question number 10, which of the following are secreted by the posterior pituitary gland? A, both oxytocin and antidiuretic hormone, ADH for short, also known as vasopressin, B, TSH, ACTH, GH, FSH, LH, and PRL, C, both prolactin and oxytocin, or D, all of the above. Our answer here is A, both oxytocin and ADH, or antidiuretic hormone, also known as vasopressin. Question number 11. Which of the following is responsible for milk production? A, prolactin, B, oxytocin, C, calcitonin, or D, thymosin? Our answer here is A, prolactin. Question number 12, which of the following causes smooth muscle to contract, resulting in release or ejection of breast milk? A, prolactin, B, oxytocin, C, calcitonin, or D, thymosin? Our answer here is B, oxytocin. Question number 13, which of the following hormones does the pineal gland secrete that regulates our sleep-wake cycle, also known as the circadian rhythm? A, melatonin, B, thyroid-stimulating hormone, C, calcitonin, or D, ACTH? Our answer here is A, melatonin. Question number 14. Thymosin secreted from the thymus gland has which of the following functions? A. Stimulates T3 and T4. B. Stimulates blood pressure to rise. C. Stimulates T cell production and influences the immune system. Or D. Stimulates smooth muscle to contract and affects the reproduction system. Our answer here is C. It stimulates T cell production and influences the immune system. Question number 15. Which of the following stimulate the release of hydrochloric acid in order to aid in digestion? A. Thymosin, B. Gastrin, C. Secretin, or D. ANP, which we know stands for atrial natriuretic peptide. Our answer here is B, gastrin. Question number 16, which of the following stimulate the release of digestive enzymes and bile? A, gastrin, B, gastrin and secretin, C, secretin, or D, secretin and cholecystokinin, also known as CCK for short. Our answer here is D, secretin and cholecystokinin. Question number 17, which hormones regulate blood glucose by causing opposite effects in order to maintain glucose within normal limits? A, glucagon and insulin, B, gastrin and secretin, C, ADH and ACTH, or D, thymosin and vasopressin.
Our answer here is A, glucagon and insulin. Question 17, which hormones are secreted by the kidneys? A, oxytocin and vasopressin, B, aldosterone and cortisol, C, renin, erythropoietin and calcitriol, D, thymosin and vasopressin. Our answer here is C, renin, erythropoietin, and calcitriol. Question number 18. Which of the following is more likely to cause an increase in blood pressure? A, calcitriol and aldosterone. B, T3 and T4. C, thymosin and leptin. Or D, renin and aldosterone. Our answer here is D, renin and aldosterone. Question 19. Which of the following stimulates red blood cell production? A, calcitriol, B, leptin, C, thymosin, or D, erythropoietin? Our answer here is D, erythropoietin. Question number 20. Which hormones work together to maintain normal calcium levels in the blood? A, calcitriol and calcitonin. B, leptin and calcitonin. C, thymosin and leptin. Or D, secretin and CCK. Our answer here is A, calcitriol and calcitonin. Alrighty everyone, that completes these practice questions for the endocrine system for your TEAS exam. So if you got close to 100%, I am super proud of you. I feel super confident that you are going to go to your TEAS exam and you are gonna kill the endocrine system section of the TEAS exam. So good for you if you are one of the students who are like, oh my goodness, I'm a little bit confused. I'm falling behind here. I don't understand a lot of the stuff. It's confusing. Then I really suggest that you go to the complete review of the endocrine system video that I created and just watch that. Come back and review these practice questions again and I guarantee you, you are going to do so much better. And I know endocrine system is super scary. It's one of the ones that a lot of people neglect studying because it's just scary to them. Please don't do this. Don't neglect it. Just face your fears, you know, review it and do some practice problems. I am sure you are going to do wonderful. Okay, until next time, guys. Thanks for being here.